I'm going to perform a smoke test on a BMW M52 TU, which is also a BMW M54. I'm going to use this smoke tester right here and this adapter. This is actually a really good kit. Um, I think they sell this on eBay, and uh, the cost isn't too bad. What's nice is that it has a pintle on it, so you can see how much of a leak that you actually have. These adapters fit well just to connect them right to the intake boot right here. And you're going to hook it up to positive and negative at the jump terminal. And it gives you a lot of uh, hose so that's if you have to reach a, a further area. And you can also set your pressure. And what's neat about uh, this particular unit is it runs off of baby oil. So you just fill this up right here with uh, baby oil and that's what produces the smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I know that I have some air leaks, so we'll see how well this actually works. Now you do need shop air, so you do need a compressor for this style. I'm going to hook up my air compressor here that I've already pre-charged. Okay, I have that hooked up. We do, bud. Why? Why do we need one of these? Yeah. For compressed air, Tom. So for air tools and to do a smoke test. Okay? Alright, so we need to hook this up to the positive and negative. Nice on the BMW, we have this jump terminal right here. And the negative cable is right back here. Okay, now the best place to do a smoke test is after the mass airflow sensor. So I'm going to pop this off. You want to give me a hand? Alright, I need you to pull that piece right off, right there. This one here. Just go ahead and grab it and pull it right off. Thank you, Tom. Nice job. We'll put that there. Now we want to remove now we want to remove the engine air filter. I already have the two hole downs off. So, and I already have this loose right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. I'm going to push down here, disconnect my mass airflow sensor. And this needs to come off. You can put that right there. All right, now we have access to do our smoke test. So we're going to take this tool right here, and it fits perfectly into the intake air tube. We just have to push it in with some pressure to seal it up. And now we're going to hook up the smoke tester. We have a little green light ready to go. And I'm just going to turn it on so we can see what the smoke looks like. It's a little button under here. Turn that on. A little button. And we should start seeing the smoke coming out. There it is right there. See the smoke? Mm -hmm. There it is. And we're going to use this to look for any air leaks. So I'm just going to plug that in there. You can see the smoke's actually coming out a lot better. Plug that in right there. And now we can take a look to see where we have an air leak. Whoa. And here's my line going in. There's the adapter. And then you can see how well you can actually find your air leaks. <laughs> so I knew that uh, it's cracked right there. So that upper part needs to be replaced. I think the bottom part is good, but my clamp is loose down there. <sighs> so you can see how good this works to see if you have any unmetered air leaks. This type of tool would be used for looking for unmetered air leaks. And obviously, as you have a leak, you want to repair it and recheck it. Some common spots are this intake tubing that goes down to the throttle right here at the diesel flap that's common the seal kind of degrades and it leaks also the diaphragm um, splits in here and you'll, you can have an air leak right through there 
Um, on the back, there's some vacuum lines. Uh, you could have a leak for your secondary air system if you have the style. You could have a leak with uh, Cyclone, which is under the intake manifold, which this one doesn't look like it's leaking. And you could have a cracked valve cover. I've seen that before. Just seen it recently on a N54 twin turbo. As you can see, the smoke gets all the way over here. So it really checks the entire system really well. It's definitely a nice tool to have.